Hi guys, uh, welcome. I'm, uh, I've been playing around with a certain package, but let me first introduce you my system since um, we have now the possibility to actually install our systems with different kind of file systems. Duff will be the way to show you that. So Duff BTRFS, that's what I've chosen it seems on this system. We have 24 SSDs that I can install, 24 ISOs, which means in my bay I pop in, pop out all these SSDs and every single one is different with riser, with XFS or JFS and stuff like that. So just saying, that's one. The thing I want to show you, there is something in, hidden away, Maybe it's an Easter egg. You make, you see if you like it, if you like to name it an Easter egg. Um, but in Awesome, in BSPWM, and I'm in i3, I've put an extra line. So if you did your update, this is i3, and you did yourself a scale, everything from etc scale is copy pasted over to the home directory, which means on here I have now a control H dot config i3. That's up to date and with a super shift R we reload the complete config so that's this thing all right so let's um, have a look at what's new look for X lunch yeah it sounds like to lunch but it's more like it's a typo to launch right to launch a launcher an app launcher that is now on our repo and also has also a configuration and it's hidden doesn't work by default, right? But um, what if I told you, what if you could just install it? So sudo pacman minus s xlunch. That's the application. And if this happens, good that it happens in the video. From time to time, we rebuild our packages and the signature then is wrong. So you just say, do you want to delete it? Yes, and then do it again. And then the signature comes with it and then everything is correct, of course. Now, yeah, that's true. When you launch this application, it comes from the AOR and it's now on our, our repo. It will take a look at all your files. In this case, it's done already, but it's like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 lines of images. It's going through the, all these images and then make uh, it for you. Now that's the application. Our configuration matters as well. Arch Linux X launch. Now this again goes to etc scale, right? So nothing happens unless you do a scale. Super shift R reload again. So now we have a, and, and, and let's delete this guy. We don't need this anymore. Reload, control find X launch. So now we have here in the dot config an X lunch. Thanks to the scale, we have these things in here. Now, in order to run, right, you need to make sure this, this uh, hashtag is out. So I can run it with Alt F5. First the control S, then a super shift R, everything reloaded, and then a super F5. Oops, sorry, my mistake. That's wrong, of course. Let's kill you. Let's kill you. Yeah, let's leave you, leave you open. I'll just open it for later. And so Alt F5. This is Xlunch. You can launch your application. You can look for it. Firefox, right? Or Melt, not yet installed, I think. Oh yeah, it is installed, Melt already. Gparted. And you can just look by icon or look. Start typing. And these things can be changed. So I've changed a few of the settings already. The font up here, font settings, um, what else? The border ratios, I've changed it. So that also looks good on the i3 or the flagship. Center it and so many other things I haven't tried yet. So it's a tool to have a quick look for a launcher, right? A graphical, Cover, uh, black coverage like a black background and then nice icons it works with the papyrus icons it works with the surf icons it works with 
the icons. You just, just change it and run it again. Maybe that's a hint. But always, like always, right? Like always, you should know this, guys. You go for, let me put you here and let's kill you there and let's kill you there. Go to Pamac. A new application you never heard about. What's in there? What's happening to your machine? Well, you get this thing. You can either run this gen entry. So if you're a new icon theme, you run gen entries and you run or you run gen entries desktop.sh. So it's just a user bin. So you just start typing and that will be great. So this is what's uh, basically that's the magic behind Xlunch. And here are the files and configurations. So we just copy pasted the default to our own etc skull and later on the home directory all right basically guys that's all i wanted to share that there is something new and you can try it out see if you like it you can make the icons bigger the font bigger you can play around with some settings and say okay this is something for me or not because super shift d is by far my 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 preference I know people like yeah, F11, so Super F11, Rofi and Super F12 like that as well. There's Alt F3, don't forget it, Alt F3 often is available on Tiling Window Manager. So again, Linux, choices, always choices. And I've been playing around with Lunch, and maybe you say, mm, I will give it a go. All right, so i3, awesome, BSPWM, that's where you can try it. Cheers.